you'll need to have Node installed on your computer. Hopefully, you've already got it. If so, great, you're good to go. Fire up your terminal and navigate to the directory where you want to create your project. I'm setting mine up in the Sites directory. And then type npx frontity create followed by the name of your project. For this example, I'm just going to call mine my app. You can see the setup starting, but then you'll be prompted to choose a starter theme. What's that, you ask? Well, a frontity theme is just like a theme in WordPress. It allows you to fully customize the look and feel of the website, but is created using React components rather than PHP template files. Don't worry if that sounds a bit confusing at this stage, you'll soon get the hang of it. You have a choice of two themes, Mars and 2020. You can toggle between them with the up down arrow keys on your keyboard. Mars is a minimal theme to help get you started with learning Frontity. If this is your first time trying out Frontity, we recommend starting with this one. So make sure that Mars theme is selected and confirm your selection by pressing enter. Next, you'll be asked if you want to receive email updates. Of course you do. So go ahead and select yes, and then enter your email address. But if you really don't want to receive emails, then saying no is also cool. Once the setup process is complete, you'll be returned to the command prompt. Frontity has created a new directory for you with the project name that you chose. So change into that directory with CD and the name of your project. So in my case, that was my app. If you like, you can quickly check the directory contents to ensure that everything has gone smoothly by typing ls minus l. If you're on Windows, you'll need to type dir. Great. You're now ready to fire up the development server. Type npx frontity dev and press enter. Frontity spins up a web server on your computer at port 3000. The page should load automatically in your browser, but if not, type localhost colon 3000 into your browser's address bar. At this point, you should see our example site in your browser. Great, you're now up and running with Frontity. Your next steps will be getting the content from your own WordPress site and customizing the theme to your liking. We'll show you how to do those things in another video. In the meantime, you can find all our documentation at docs.frontity.org. And if you have any questions or if you get stuck at any point, then do come and join us in our community forum at community.frontity.org. We'd love to see you there and look forward to seeing what you build with Frontity.